everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at a Shadow High doll of Carla Choupette. She is so stunning and so I'm really excited to take her out of the box. But first, let's go ahead and check out her packaging. So as you can see, it starts with Let Your True Colors Shine up there at the top with a silver foil pushed into the box. And over here you can see her name. And then you can see all of her accessories on this side. Well, some of the accessories. There are actually like some hangers over on this side. And you can see the Shadow High logo and this cool holographic foil, which is also on this side where you can see her artwork. It's a really pretty rainbow effect, which looks really similar to the new Rainbow High packaging. So looking at them side by side, you can see that they still have the mirrored effect where we have the logo and artwork on one side and it's flipped on the other doll. And with these dolls, they have gold for their artwork, while these ones really are like a rainbow holographic effect. And it's all like silver detailed, and then this one has the golden details. And it's interesting how they have their hangers showing, while her hangers are just like tucked away on that side. But yeah, I just wanted to take a quick look at that. Then down here at the bottom, it says Rainbow High, so you can go ahead and check out their YouTube channel. On this side, it has a couple of glitches, and then on the other side, it shows what her focus is, which is fashion design. Now here is the back of the box where you can see the Shadow High logo again up in silver. Then you can see close-ups of Monique and Carla. Then below them it says, Fashion doesn't have to follow the rules and neither does Shadow High. Watch out Rainbow High, we're coming for the runway. And then that's repeated in multiple languages. Here is the top of the box where you can see like a rainbow glitchy background and then a handle where you can see the top of her head. Now here is the bottom of the box and if you're interested in her barcode then there you go! Alright, now let's go ahead and take her out of the box! If you're interested in her artwork, then let's go ahead and take a close look at that. So over here, you can see this full body artwork, which matches the front of the box. Over here, you can see this little doodle, which doesn't totally look like her in the face. I feel like her face doesn't really look like that. And then down here, we have this gorgeous sketch of her again, which is so pretty. I love how her hair looks in this one. And yeah, now let me go ahead and remove the rest. All right, so here's everything that Carla comes with out of the box. So let's go ahead and check out what she came with. So first off, here you can see her pink stand, which is covered in studs, and it says SH right on the front. It's all pink and sparkly, which matches the rest of the stand. And it also matches this brush. So as you can see, it has SH on this side and has more studs along the top. Then we also have these two hangers, which are very pale pink, similar to her skin color. And then we got these three makeup brushes, which are pale pink as well. And this one has like a little bit of white crust on it, which I was able to scratch off. I think it might be part of the glue from the box, but that's just what I'm hoping. <laughs> and we also have this little pale pink lip gloss, which can open with the cap removed. You can see this beautiful pink color. Then we got a phone and phone case, which says Shadow High, but it really looks like Houndstooth, which is a really cool effect. I like how they designed that. And you can see, like, it's almost like she's watching YouTube on her phone where it says Rainbow High. It's like she's watching the different episodes or something. So that's cool. And here's the back, where you can see that the cameras are painted a little bit bad. It's kind of rubbed off onto the side, but the phone itself is kind of like a really pale pink that looks pretty white to me, and then the inside of the case is just pure black. And it has this handle so she can easily hold the phone. And then you can go ahead and plug it together like that, so that's what it looks like. And then last up we have this makeup palette, which has a mirror on this side, and the whole thing is like this white color, where it says Shadow High on the front. And it has the silver case corners like all the other Shadow High things. Alright, now let's go ahead and check out Carla up close. So let's get a good look at her. Oh my gosh, her hair looks a little bit messy. <laughs> so it's got like a few loose hairs right here, but I really love the hairstyle that she has where she has these long bangs pulled to the front and then she has like this half up ponytail where the ponytail itself is covered and wrapped in hair. And look at it, it's all this beautiful pale pink color, which I just love, I adore this color but I don't really like how she's so bald looking in the back. I feel like the box hair could have covered that up a little bit. But yeah, so look at that. Look at how beautiful. And I like how long it is too. I just don't like the amount of gel they put in. Like there's gel like way up here too. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but I still think she looks so beautiful. So let's go ahead and take a close look at her face. So she has these very light eyebrows that look white on this side and they go to pink on the edges. And she has these white eyelashes and then her eyeshadow has a couple different things going on. So we have this gray background with white coming in from the inner corners of her eye. And then there's a pink over this black eyeliner and then more going around the bottom of the eyes. Then you can see she's got some blush and this pale pink lipstick. 
Then on the sides, you can see her earrings, so it says S on this side with some fake chain dangling. And then this other side has H with this part dangling. And then it says Shadow High on it, which is interesting. But look at this outfit! She's got like one of the prettiest outfits that they've ever made. This is so pretty, and I've seen people use this shirt on other dolls, and I swear it looks good on every doll it's on. It's just so gorgeous. And yeah, so we have this white top with puffy sleeves and this collar and a little black tie, which has a little decor on it right there. So it's got a cute little SH clip. And then over here, you can see it's cuffed. And then over on this side, the shadow fan, which is really pretty and it folds into itself. So that's really cool. And then over here, we see these gloves, which says SH. That's the same on both sides. And then you can see her light pink pointy nails as well. And then she also has S on her belt. This really pretty pale pink dress, which is a new silhouette. I really like this, where it has these parts pulled down and then these buttons going down the center and some belt loops and some faux pockets. No, these are real pockets. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Okay, cool. Yeah, and then that's all Velcroed in the back and the belt is separate, so you can go ahead and use that elsewhere. And then down here, you can see her boots, which are really cool and they feel nice. I really like this texture. Then they have these buckles on top and then these faux zippers on the bottom where it says SH on the zippers. And then this part is all connected to the bottom. So you can't separate this part from these black boots. But I like it. I like how it's together. Now here is the bottom of them. They're just plain white, but they're labeled R and L, so you know which foot to put them on. All right, now let me go ahead and put on some accessories on her. Here is Carla holding some of her makeup. So I just stuck the makeup brush inside of her glove and that was working like a charm. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. It really works quite well. And then over here, you can see her makeup, which I needed an elastic band for, which this packaging didn't have, so you're gonna need that from something else. So here she is, just like, putting on her blush. Now here's what it looks like when you have Carla putting on her lip gloss and holding her phone. I did have to take off her glove to get her phone to stay because with the glove on, it was really having a hard time staying around the thumb. Then I also stuck her lip gloss inside of her glove so it could stay, but it was a little bit tricky too. It's too bad that that doesn't have a little grip so she could hold it, but yeah, this glove trick seems to work. If you're curious what she would look like without the shirt on, then here's what the dress looks like. Yeah, so it looks fine. It still covers enough. I feel like I really prefer the shirt on though because I think it's so adorable, but yeah, just another look you can do. Also, these boots can like slide down if you want, so you can have them kind of hang down a little bit. It's look a little bit saggier. And also, once you take these off, these are a little tricky to put back on because there's still like a gap somewhere in here. So her foot kind of like slid out the side down here, but yeah, just the one thing to point out. If you were curious to see what her shirt looked like without the dress, then here you go. So as you can see, it goes down to her waist. So it's like a nice long full shirt. Yeah, and I think it looks so pretty and will look really nicely with other clothes as well because it's just so basic. The, like the most beautiful way you can be. It's just so stunning. And I absolutely love how feminine looking it is. I really love the puffy sleeves on it. And yeah, so while I have her like this, let's go ahead and check out her articulation. So starting up at the top, she can tilt side to side and up and down. And then she can also rotate her shoulders all the way around and she can rotate at her elbows and her wrists, which let her hands pop off. And then she can also do the splits and then rotate at her thighs right there. And then she can also kick up her legs about that far. And the boots don't restrict it either, so you can kick up that far with the boots on as well. All right, now let me go ahead and get into my final thoughts. So I think this doll is definitely more fun to display than it is to play with because of the little tiny things that she has. Like, the little gloves take up a little bit of time to put on, and then the little fan has a little elastic they have to wrap around her hand. And I don't really like how her grip didn't work with the gloves on. That's a little bit of a bummer. Also, it would have been nice if this palette had, like, some kind of grip on the bottom so that it would have somewhere for her hand to slide so she could easily hold it without an elastic band. That would have been nice. It's a little bit weird that she doesn't have extra clothes to go with these extra hangers, but I understand they want to, like fluff it up with more accessories. And besides that, I feel like the clothes were really cute, like super adorable. I really love this whole look that she has going on. I would love to see more of this. Um, I do feel like these boots are a little bit awkward though because I was able to get her foot through, which is not very fun. So it made it a little bit trickier to put on the boots. But besides that, look at how beautiful she is. So I'm really happy to have her in my collection. So yeah, that wraps it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in other videos.